So my assignment in all this is to create a device that will spill slime all over Kenzie if and when she answers the questions incorrectly during the quiz show. Um, so I think what we have to do is figure out A, what's available locally for hardware and what uh, we're going to do, you know, design something around that and then figure out what additional pieces we might need to order, stuff that's maybe not available locally for us to pick up right away. So here's what we know. We have three different colors of slime, so we'll need one container to hold each color. We can use some basic plumbing parts to run those three buckets together into a single pipe. On that pipe, we need some kind of device to keep the slime back when we don't want it to dump. I know there's nothing locally that's inexpensive, so we'll have to order that piece online. Doing some research, I found a 3-inch guillotine-style gate valve, one that's frequently used on RVs and camper vans. This has a simple slicing mechanism that cuts across the opening, preventing liquid from escaping, with the feature we really need. It gets out of the way quickly when we want to drop the slime. So I'll need to build a structure to hold the buckets over Kenzie's head with the gate valve below so that we can control when it drops. I think that's a pretty good start. We may need to modify things as we go, but for now, let's go shopping. Okay, we're back from the hardware store, and in a Canadian winter, do you want to see how we get down to the workshop? Ready, set, go! Hi, Ram. Here we go! Move, dog, move! Move, dog! Ah! Ah! We made it! Okay, welcome to our workshop. And not that we're trying to turn this channel into a home improvement channel or anything, but we want to go and take everything that we have on this table here and build something that we can slime Kenzie with during the competition. Uh, most everything we went and got from Home Depot with the exception of this gate valve. This thing uh, came from Amazon, three inch diameter. That's what's actually gonna control the slime that falls on Kenzie's head. We've got buckets from Princess Auto. Uh, we'll probably pick, a, pick and choose a few other bits and bobs from around the shop too. Uh, let's get started. Okay, so we found our scrap two by fours. We'll just go cut those to size now. You guys might notice the dogs wandering around in the shots. That's uh, Remy and Cooper. Cooper's the brown one. Remy's the black and white one. There's a 26 and a quarter. Kids, don't do this at home. Always have adult supervision. I have never claimed to be an architect, an engineer, or a carpenter, but I can put some stuff together. All right, we're gonna dry fit this, make sure that what I measured is going to work for what we need. No, I'm not striving for perfection. This will actually work. All right, let's get some screws, put this together. These look to be two and a half inch, no, three inch screws. How many three inch screws can we get out of this? Uh, four, five, six, 
seven, eight. This table is not very big. Say that's okay. That'll hold up. Wait just a minute. Why is that one so off? I thinking now is when we try to make take a crooked piece of plywood and make it straight move this whole contraption to the floor so I can add some downward pressure Okay, let's call this stage one complete. Not much, it's not pretty to look at, but it will do. It'll hold up some gunge buckets. Okay, stage two, if that's what you want to call it, we're going to vertically lift that platform up about five feet, because Kenzie is just shy of five feet tall. And uh, so what we're going to do is this is going to be cantilevered over top just a little bit. So what we need to do is have the length of the 2x4, obviously, to counteract the thing wanting to tip over. So we're just going to mark this halfway. That way it can't tip forward, won't tip back. All right, we want to cut this at five feet. Do we? Do we? Yes. We're going to cut this at five feet. Foot piece. Ah, ah, ah. Two five foot piece. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, would you look at that? We got lucky there. It's a problem when you assume that your wood is free from screws and nails.
There we go. Much more gooder. Before we continue, I want to create some cross bracing here. We want a couple pieces of lumber there that are on the 45. So we can round up. Will these one by threes work? Sure, why not? Certainly have enough of them. We're going a full 45 degrees. I want to pre-drill. Shorter screw there and a longer screw there. Question is, do I want to do this? I believe the answer is yes. All right, there's one. Oh, Cooper, you stink. Whoo, that is terrible. Buddy, what have you been eating? Oh. Papa dog. That is rotten. Pop the dog, pop the dog. Whew. Big reveal. <laughs> Ta-da. So going backwards and forward seems to be okay. We don't want to go side, side to side too much, but it's decent. It'll hold up for what we need to do.
something became abundantly clear when I was leak testing the system. I don't know if you guys noticed, but as I was putting in all the plumbing, the five foot height that I had made got shorter and shorter. And Kenzie is just shy of five feet standing up. And if you add in a chair, probably she wouldn't have much space between the bottom of the gate valve and her head. So uh, while the cameras were off, uh, just because I had some extra already painted uh, two by fours from a fence project that we had going, this thing is now eight feet tall. Unfortunately, also because it was then going from eight to, or five to eight feet tall, I had to put this cross bracing in because then at eight feet, it was starting to get a little too wobbly. So now we're eight feet tall. Uh, not quite sure how we're gonna get the slime in there, except for maybe a ladder. And uh, we'll play with the adjustment again uh, from a seated position and uh, go from there. See you in a bit. So we finished off with a quick paint job and some metal strapping for stability. We decided to forego the chair and have Kenzie stand up for the potential sliming. And so the Gunge Tower was born. Check out the quiz show on the Gunge Slime channel for the answer to the big question, will Kenzie get slimed?